Come on, variable king snake eggs. Oh, never mind. That one isn't gravid. How about variable king snake? Oh, you're in your lay box. Do you have any eggs? Nope, just fat. Okay, here you go. Goodbye. Lay your eggs, lose some weight. How about in this one? Oh, I have to do your water. Oh, oh, we have variable king snake eggs. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna take these, bring them over here to show Ed, whose birthday is today. Look, you have birthday eggs. Bir Aww. Birthday variable. Ooh. Yeah, variable king snake eggs. Oh, they're so little. Our very good first. Good job, birthday. mama. And she got them all out, too. Yeah, she looks great. Oh, you did such a good job. Yes, you did. Aww, our first ones. We've never bred this species Pink. before. Pink. Those are teeny little eggs. Okay, variable king snakes are really cool. They're called variable kings because when they hatch, they're a variety of colors. For example, this is a variable king. See the kind of tannish and red with nice black outlines. Then you have this color of variable king. Looks more like a milk snake than a king. Well, I guess milks are kings, but anyway, her cave is upside down. Don't really know why. And then there's like, this color for some variable kings. Like they really just, you, you don't know what you're gonna get in a box full of chop, I mean, variable king snake eggs. So they're very exciting snakes to breed, which is why I've wanted to breed them for a while. And now we have eggs. That is awesome. All right, let's get these babies out of there. All right, king snake eggs, our first variable kings. Girly girl. Oh, it's heavy. She's still in here. I'm just gonna set this here for now. Hello, you did so good. I'm so proud of you. You're so pretty too. Come here. We're gonna put you back in here. I'll have to fill in your enrichment because the lay box was taking a lot of your space, but here you go. You can have your cave. All right, let's look at these eggs. Oh, that's right. If you hear noises, by the way, it's because we have so many surrenders today. Let's see, what do we have? Let's take a detour from eggs for a second. We have two leopard geckos that were found on the side of the road. We have a bearded dragon down there, a beautiful bearded dragon here. We have a pair of quince monitors that were surrendered to us. And what's over here? We have, uh, oh, an albino African house snake. That's kind of cool. There's a bearded dragon in that box. There's a bearded dragon in there. There's, what's this? Oh, that's right. There was a condophase hog nose, an adult female. So let's be honest, I think I'm gonna keep her. I'll, we'll have to find a good name for her. And to go in this enclosure, we had a pair of Cuban false chameleons surrendered to us. My goodness, big day for surrenders. Okay, back to eggs. Okay, I think I'm starting to run out of containers because a lot of them are being used by rescues right now, but I think I can fit the eggs in here. We're gonna, we're gonna see if it works. I'll add some water, squeeze test, yep. Held its shape, but didn't drip, so we are good to go there. All right, look at these beautiful eggs. Oh, they're so cute and petite and ra Oh my gosh, and they're all in one big clump. Look at that. Oh, such cute little yeah, tongue. Do you have plans to go to an expo in Concord in July? <laughs> nope, we will not be at that one. Okay, anyway, cute baby eggs. Oh my gosh, they're so little. They're like hognose egg size. That's crazy, because variable kings are, well, I mean, they're longer than hognoses. I guess they're not thicker, so I suppose that makes sense. Okay, we are definitely having better luck incubating eggs when they are separated, though, rather than being in a clump. So I'm going to try, since they're fresh enough, to separate them, but I've never, oh, there's one slug. I just felt that, oh. Instead of feeling calcified and hardened, it feels like a, a, a water balloon. So that, that is a slug. You can kind of tell just by looking at it too. One slug isn't bad though. We have three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe 15. Maybe there's another one down there. That's a lot of eggs for a little snake. So let's see how easy these are to peel apart. How sticky is the adhesive on king snake or variable king eggs? Oh, very comparable to bull snakes. Okay, that's a relief. Sweet, well then I will keep that, that orientation. Let's put them all in perlite then.
All right, we have all of our eggs separated and in the perlite. And in case you're wondering why I separated all the eggs, it's because sure in the wild, they would be clumped together and hopefully laid somewhere humid where they would sit for incubation. Uh, but in captivity, it does seem like when you keep them at a clump, the ones furthest away from the perlite just dry out and die essentially. So I like to separate them now as after experimenting with a couple clutches earlier this year, I'm gonna start separating whenever possible because it keeps them more consistent humidity or like consistent perlite to egg touch ratio just to keep them hydrated so that's why it'll help with the incubation uh, process oh yeah and how many final do we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen okay yeah 15 eggs 16 if you include the slug which we're just gonna throw away so 15 eggs what am I gonna mark the top of all these eggs with what kind of theme am I gonna do? Uh, let me think about it. Okay, I've decided we are going to do a candy theme because I'm hungry and I'm craving candy right now. So we're gonna do a candy theme for these eggs. All right, for example, hard candies, lollipops, chocolate bars, my favorite. And you know what? There's a lot of eggs here. So we're just gonna speed through the rest and I'll show you what I drew. Here now, guys. He's gonna try to guess what all of the designs are. Is that a burger? <laughs> no, it's a macaron. Uh, macaron, oh, okay, macaron. I don't know how. Is that a donut? Yep. I'm guessing. Okay, then that one's a candy cane. Yep. Candy corn. Yep. Chocolate bar. Uh huh. Lollipop. Yep. Just generic candy that's wrapped. Generic hard candy. Okay. Clove of garlic. No, that's a chocolate kiss. No, that's totally. Totally a chocolate, a chocolate kiss or a poop. I don't know, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. Uh, gummy bear. Yep. Uh, candy machine? Yeah, gumball machine. Okay. Yep. Cake? Cake kind of counts. It has enough sugar to count, That's I figure. sweet, I guess. Yeah. You're okay. gonna have to change this from candy to sweet. Oh, I guess, sweets. yeah. Okay, sweets clutch. Sweets Is that clutch. another chocolate bar? Yep. Okay. Uh, peppermint candy? Yep. Uh, strawberry for some reason. Yeah, chocolate but, dipped strawberry. That's a sweet. There's no chocolate dipping there. That's all. It's that's, covered in chocolate here. That's not, that's it. Who dips the strawberry upside down? Oh yeah, I guess that is kind of weird. <laughs> it's dipped the wrong way. Don't judge the strawberry. And? And uh, a lollipop part? Yep, and another lollipop because I didn't know what else to do. All right. <laughs> Ta-da, our sweets clutch for our very first. This is going to be a fun clutch. Yeah, very, uh, King times squared. Oh yeah, king squared. There you go. Nice. 521. Born on Ed's birthday. Yep. Or well, late. Laid. Um, yeah. yeah. Born in uh, July sometime. Five days from now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's put these in the incubator. It's filling up more. It is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put these up here because they're a southern species, so they like warmer climates. Makes sense. So it's a teeny bit warmer up there. Wow, look at all these eggs. Yeah, that's a lot of oh, eggs. Oh my gosh. Is this the final or are we doing another clutch? Okay, we had some more eggs laid. They were not, well, hang on, I haven't checked. Variable Kings, have you laid your eggs? Oh, you already laid. I don't think the second clutch for today's video is going to be more variable Kings because they, oh, oh, oh me. Big chunky girl in here. Nope. Nope. Still fat. Yep. Okay, so we do have another species that laid eggs and it's a hog nose Ooh. named busty ronda Ooh. who i have heard i haven't looked yet but i heard through the grapevine through staff that she has eggs let's take a look busty yes first things first did she get them out oh she looks a lot smaller oh. we were one oh wow yeah she's she got them all out you we're lost good. a lot of weight doing that i guess when you lose your eggs you know, yeah. some weight. So she was huge just yesterday. So I wasn't sure if she was going to actually lay eggs and she was gravid, or if she was pulling the pregnancy card yet again, like she has in the past and actually wasn't developing eggs. So what did she leave behind in the lay box? <gasps> oh, well. Busty, come on. Busty, what? Oh, there's one. <laughs> one, half. Is that, oh, one, no, that was good and it's deflated. Oh. She popped it. Aww, busty. Oh yeah, maybe two. Yeah. Two, three? Two, three. Yeah, I'd say these three. Yeah, those three look They're still okay. They're a little like, squishy, but. Aw, man, busty. Busty, you are not worth the food we give you. <laughs> yeah, 
that? You are a mooch and you don't even produce babies or many. Yeah, you many. produce these really bad jelly bean <laughs> eggs. Oh, well, we'll still give you your cave and stuff back in exchange for your lay box. But here you go for now. Let's at least take a closer look at these eggs. Bust, these eggs were a bust this year. And last year, and the year before. Uh, at least she gave us eggs. Yeah, she's still worth it. I still like Busty, so if this is all we get, that's okay. She's She'll still just a... turn into a program animal one of these days. <laughs> she might, honestly, yeah. She get downgraded from breeder to program animal. Yeah. Now, we had a clutch recently where it was uh, Charlotte and t oh, Charlotte's eggs. We used one of these containers, but Charlotte's eggs were so big, they didn't fit in the tray up above without squishing against the lid. But these eggs, we might be able to experiment and use the tray for the first time for hognose eggs. Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Those are totally gonna fit. That'll definitely fit. All right, let's try this new tray thingy and see if Just we can Don't hatch. put that much perlite in there. Yeah, I can't fill it up too high. Do you think like this amount? Sure. I think that'll work. Yeah, they're not sitting in it, so. No, they're, they're just... just there to be volume for the water. Yeah, the eggs are kind of suspended above the perlite in this type of design. And I can actually leave the extra water in there. I poured it a little too much in, but they're not even making contact with the perlite, so that's okay. No. So let's put this guy in. Okay, yeah. There we go. Ghosts. Ghosts? Are, are you, you printing are you something? Printing something? What are you doing? Night hike. Oh, Sam's printing while we're filming. <laughs> <sighs> oh, someone's knocking on the door. Are Hello? You... Can I come in and grab that? <laughs> I suppose. Here, we'll just okay. we'll just do this. Oh, it's gonna fly under the door. <laughs> oh, printing yes. stuff when we're filming. <laughs> I see so how sorry. it is. Did you have more than one page? Because it did say out of paper. Yeah, okay. I need one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, now that Sam got his moment on the video, let's, uh, I guess, move forward. <laughs> okay, let's get back to these eggs now. <laughs> okay. Look at this little one. Oh, is that? That might be all right. That might be good. Yeah. Oh, it's connected. Can you let Don't go? Don't spin it. Oh, but it's like really connected. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got detached. There, I think uh, it was like that. Nope. Just... Why is it sticky? Weird. This one's gonna go in the corner. Yeah. Because I don't. Is it sticky? Yeah, because it's sticky and it's I don't. Like that kid who's I always like sticky, it. he gets put in the corner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the sticky fingered ch child. Okay, this egg looks mostly yeah. okay, maybe. Yeah. We'll go like that. This egg looks great. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, that one's gonna go right front and center because we love that, that egg. That looks good too. So yep. that can go there. Okay, that'll go here. They'll each have their own little compartment they can hatch in. And these are all sluggies. I think so. What about that one? Yep, slug, Sluggy, slug. slug, slug. Oh, it's like stuck. Yeah. Ew. Weird. Alright, well. How many wood chips? Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we have four good eggs. You wanna know how many there was? Alright, let's see. Don't make a mess on my desk! It's not my desk, I don't care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Two, three, tw so 25 eggs 25 she eggs. produced. It's just only four of them were fertilized. <sighs> oh well. Yeah. On to the floor. On to the floor. Who cares that I just swept up this office yesterday? That's okay. Yep, yeah, that's on my side. You don't have to sweep my side. Oh, really? You're gonna sweep that? No, I'll just leave it there. Of course. <laughs> By the way, since we're at my desk, thank you, Michelle, for sending us better locks for our front gates. Yep. Haven't opened them yet, but we're planning on replacing the yep. ours with these. And thank you, mystery person, for sending us a new book series. What's it called? Right, oh, I'll Harper. be right back. I can get her name. I know okay. where it's at. Thank you, Anne, for sending us the Harper Hall of Pern trilogy. This yeah. is kind of cool, like a new a new series of dragon writing books. Yeah, she said to add to your growing collection That's of dragon awesome. themed books. Yeah. I think. Can't wait to read these. Thank you. That was really thoughtful of you just to send these to us in the in the blue. So okay. should we do a lock or a dragon thing? Oh, let's do both. <laughs> two are going to be dragons for the books that Anne sent, and okay. two are going to be lock themes for the locks that Michelle sent. All right. All right. So this is going to be a lock theme. We're going to do a padlock. I was thinking. Oh, a bike lock or key. A okay. key. That makes sense. <laughs> and. Oh, a padlock. It's a padlock. Look at that. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a padlock with a digit combination. Oh, that's just like design oh, okay. or texture. But we can go with that. Sure, it has a, a, a keypad. Okay, and then these eggs are getting... Oh, how am I going to draw a dragon? Draw a dragon egg. <laughs> okay, egg. I could turn this into... Okay, this is now going to be a dragon egg. I'll have to make like one, like a something that's right in the middle so you know that it's the thing that should be on top okay that's okay. our x yep. okay. okay it's a dragon, dragon egg, egg with an x in the middle so we know what side is actually on top okay and then this one this teeny one we're gonna draw an actual dragon oh geez uh oh this is not turning out as well as i had hoped 
I'm so confused at how that's supposed to be a dragon. Just wait. It's getting worse. Oh no. Is this is this uh, Trogdor? <laughs> the Burninator? <laughs> yeah, the Burninator. That probably Oh my would've... gosh, we just aged ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, you're trying to draw this one. Yeah. What if I go like that? Oh no. Well then here's its tail. There, that's a dragon. It's not a okay. chicken. Is that that? There we go. It's like it's like it's the same thing. I'm seeing doubles. I nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> Perfect job. Okay, so these eggs, which were laid by Busty Ronda, and oh, who do we pair Busty with? Spider Pig. That's oh. why. Ah. Oh. Spider Pig. It was Spider Pig's fault that these eggs weren't yeah. fertilized. Okay, well, last time we breed Spider Pig. Actually, it was his first year, so yeah. who knows. And she might just be, you know, she doesn't have the greatest track record, so I'm not gonna blame him right away. Yeah, it might just be her. Five, 26. Perfect. Okay. Into incubator. Into incubator. What a sad little clutch. <laughs> I mean, it's more than we just got from uh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah, that's so. true. We can put these next to Charlotte's yeah, eggs. Yeah, there we go. Okay, those can give Charlotte's eggs hope. Yeah. That's so sad. Two clutches of Hognose eggs are in these two containers. And then we have another clutch, like... Like that one? Here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. There's a bit of a difference. So Penny's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it is what it is. Yep. Okay, goodbye! Spider pig! Yeah, oh. come on, man! Dude! You should have fertilized her! You didn't do your job! Yeah, You're... come on, dude! Oh, he's such a pretty exanthic, too. Oh, yeah. wow, look at that nose. He has such a like bloop little tiny petite nose, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. That is pretty cute. Aw. Okay. Except well, he can't get his job done. Apparently not, and she's had exanthic. He is exanthic. We could have had like ten exanthic babies yeah. in that clutch. Well, maybe we'll get one. <sighs> maybe. One, two, two. If we're lucky. Odds are two. I yeah, guess, we'll see. Well, thank you guys for watching. Spider pig. Do Let's better. all shame spider pig. Shame. Put shame, shame in the shame. <laughs> shame in the comments for shaming Spider Pig for us. Oh, he doesn't like that idea. Aww, Definitely do so it. Sad. Oh, so sad. You didn't do your job. Next year, you better do your job. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And we'll see you next time. Shame. shame.